Within this section, we will be simulating a live machine demonstration. We will run two demonstrations, firstly showcasing the flexibility of the press, going from an unsupported film to a label stock, and the second section highlighting the low waste and quick setup of the FL3, EDAL's high productivity, cost-efficient label and flexible packaging press. The first job that we are running today is a four-color process job on a 50 micron unsupported white PP material, which our operator Darren has already pre-mounted and set. The press is now accelerating from 0 to 180 meters a minute. Using the automatic registration feature, which comes as standard, we are able to maintain registration on this unstable material. As in a fast-paced production environment, we will get started on the second job, another four-color process, but this time printed on label stock. Here you can see the self-cleaning plate function in action. When selected at the end of a job, the remaining ink on the cylinder is transferred onto the material, removing the majority of the ink from the plate ready for clean down. Darren is recalling the settings for the second job from the extensive job storage facility, which can store and recall jobs and production data such as print and die cylinder position, press tensions and even analogues to mention a few. All of the cylinders can be unloaded with the push of a button. They then just have to be removed from the press and these will be replaced with the second job once he has completed the real change. The machine has a one meter diameter unwind as standard and the same for the rewind. There is a servo-driven unwind and infeed giving good tension control along the web, end of reel machine stop feature, dual direction unwinding and auto tension take up of the unwinding after splice. Additional options also include contact and non-contact web cleaner, corona treater and insetting control for re-registration for a pre-printed web. The press comes in both 350mm and 430mm web widths and can handle various substrates from 12 to 450 micron from label stock, card, film, plastics and unsupported film for flexible packaging applications or with the addition of the dual servo option can run substrates up to 600 micron for increased flexibility. The short web path of just 1.5 meters between each print station allows us to set up a typical six color job in under 20 meters of material. The rail system along the back of the machine houses options such as a screen, laminating, turn bar and cold foil. Placed higher above the machine for ease of access and maneuverability, allowing modules to be positioned between any of the print stations. Low volume ink trays are an added benefit with the trays only needing 350 milliliters of ink which is ideal for short run work, meaning ink is not wasted. Darren is now unloading the previous job and loading the second job into the press. The pre-registration feature will automatically position the print cylinder extremely close to the correct register position. Any additional adjustments to the linear register are simple and precise due to the calibration system ensuring the colors remain in position throughout the run. Darren is repeating the same mode of operation for all other stations. You will also see that the FL3 has an open access design allowing for the operator to easily monitor production making it easy to clean off dirt and dust and also aid in fast color changes. You can also change on the fly meaning the operator can clean down or make ready on free print stations whilst the press is still running. Another feature unique to Edale is Uniprint technology. The angled geometry of the print head ensures consistent high quality uniform print across a range of format sizes, allowing for repeat changes with minimal impression adjustment. Gearless impression cylinders are another advantage, allowing for a wider range of substrate calipers from 30 to 450 micron, which are not limited by the mesh of a gear. You may also notice that we only drive the analogs and not the cylinder. By doing this, we eliminate the number of gears required in the print head. One servo can achieve pre-register and auto-register, keeping it simple and cost-effective. Darren is setting up and just waiting for the label stock to come through. Darren has got underway with setting up the die station. The job is in register and he is releasing the die lift and engaging the die. The open access design within the die station aids waste stripping 
and offers numerous web path options. The job is now fully set up. If you take a look, you will see we have only used 16 metres of label stock getting the second job into register. Darren will now get the press up to production speed, ready for the second part of the demonstration. We will now show a simple job change running on the same label stock material. What Darren will do is upload the print cylinders and run through until we get a clean web. We will now reload the print cylinders ready to put the press to the test. As before, you can see the pre-registration feature is in action here. The cylinder is loaded and automatically finds its home position. This is repeated through all stations. Once we have four colours, Darren will stop the press and take a sample to show us. You can see that we have achieved a print in register in less than one machine length. Pretty impressive. If there are just four things you need to remember about the Edel FL3, they are low waste, high productivity, fast setup and innovative design.